Alright you lot, I'm just in the middle of just working on an old lawnmower here and uh, I thought to myself I'd, I'd make a video on how, how, how chokes work, how to try and describe to you how a choke works on a lawnmower because I get a lot of questions on how to use a choke so maybe if you understand how it works you might know how to use it So this is the old mower that I'm taking apart here, it's an emblem, it's a two stroke version but just because it's a two stroke doesn't mean the choke is going to work any different choke will work on either the four stroke or two stroke exactly the same on any lawnmower any strimmer any engine with a carburetor basically so this here is the air filter where the air filter goes the air filter's down here all this goes inside this little housing and you may see down in there there's like a little door at the moment that's open because the choke is open um, or the choke is off I should say if I move the lever, now the choke is on, and you can see there's a little hole to the right hand side of that butterfly flap. Now, that hole is where the air will go through now, now the choke is on. This is where you want it to be when you're trying to start it from cold. Um, and then when you turn the choke off, it goes back to being open again, and that's how it will be running when it's warmed up and you've turned the choke off. You should be able to see that a bit better in there now. So, what happens when you turn the choke on and you close that little door? Well, as you can see, it blocks off most of the air going in. So, you're not getting a lot of air going in. Therefore, the mixture, the fuel mixture, the petrol to air ratio mixture, is going to be a lot richer. Because there's nowhere near as much air going in. So that's what you need, you need a rich mixture in order to start an engine in cold conditions. So starting it from cold for example, that's why you put the choke on, to cut off most of the air, so you get a rich mixture, therefore it's easier for the engine to start. On some models you can have half a choke, so you have, you know, only half of it closed, but most only have full choke or no choke. Full choke, no choke, half choke. Um, some engines don't like to be started on the choke, strangely. Some like to be started with no choke. But that's how a choke works. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, my lawnmower, or my strimmer, or whatever it is you've got, only likes to run on the choke. Whenever I turn the choke off, it just conks out. Well, that probably means you've got, you've got a lean mixture to start with. So you need to either richen it up using the screws on your carburetor, or you've got a blockage within the carb, or maybe a blockage in your fuel line somewhere, so there's not enough petrol getting through. When you close the choke, it evens out the mixture so that it will run, but it won't run without the choke. So if it does that, as soon as you turn the choke off, it keeps conking out, won't run, you need to investigate a blockage probably. So for those of you that may want to know how to use a choke, the way that you use it, it's not really written in stone. It depends on the conditions, the weather conditions, and also which engine. I mean, every engine is different. Even if they're the same make and model and year, and they were made one after the other, they will be different. Some will like to be started on the choke, some won't. But the general way that you use it, is that when it's cold, say you, let's say you're working with a lawnmower, just to make it easy for you, you get, the, you get it out of your shed, and you want to start it up for the first time. It's cold, it's been sat for weeks, or even a day or whatever. So you would get to your lever, which I can't show you because I've taken it apart, but there'll be a lever somewhere, maybe on the handlebars, it may be down on the carburetor itself. But you put it on the choke position, so that that's closed. That's how you put it. On the, you put the choke on. So you put the lever to the choke position. Sorry about the lack of focus. Um, the camera's not having a very good day. Anyway, and once it's started, so now your engine has started. You've still got the choke on, but your engine is running. So you can take the choke off. If the engine continues to run, brilliant. If it's really cold, it might not. So you'd have to put the choke back on again and let it run for a few seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds until it starts to cough and splutter. And then put it back to choke being off. And that should run properly. Now, that's how you use a choke. But as I said, 
you have to sort of play around with it and you have to get to know your engine and what it likes to do. But that's generally how you use a choke. Not all chokes have a little butterfly that moves around like that. Some of them have a little slider, so something comes along and slides along over the hole, like a little thing, you, you slide it across and it slides it and blocks the hole. Some of them have a little thing that kind of goes like that and blocks the hole and then comes back up again. Um, so there can be all different types, but they all do essentially the same job of choking the engine. That's why it's called a choke, because it chokes it of air. So hopefully, You've got a bit of a better understanding now of how a choke works and how to use a choke if you don't know how to use it.